Hey guys, Prime Matrix 1986 here. Today I want to proudly present to you guys a review over the Walking Dead TV show, a Negan and Glenn 2 pack. Now, this is technically part of the Series 10 figures that are coming out um, that we're getting, you know, bit by bit via Walgreens. Uh, however, uh, this set should be available at uh, most retailers like GameStop, maybe Walmart. Um, I'm sure they will be available at Walgreens as well. Um, but I personally pre-ordered this from Big Bag Toy Store back in March, and it finally arrived. FedEx took their sweet-ass time. FedEx sucks ass, but anyways, um, let's go and jump into it, guys. I'm sure you all are as anxious as I am. Now, before we do, I do want to show off this. Here is the um, comic, Negan England 2-pack. Here is the package for this version, and just look at how massive this is. This is incredibly huge. This is, like, honestly the size of a 10-inch figure. And when it really shouldn't be, there was way, 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 way more than enough room to have um, just these two figures in the stand in there. Um, they could have at least cut it down to like right here. Um, but, oh well, wouldn't it be cool if they had another figure, <coughs> Abraham. But um, I'm not complaining. <laughs> so uh, to start off with, looks like we're going to go with Glenn. He's getting a little bit frisky. Um, so let's go ahead and take his accessories off and... Uh, We'll move Mr. Negan and the stand out of here. And these guys, don't need them. And, um, this figure is very, very cool. I gotta say, um, I actually like this Glenn a lot more than I thought I was going to. And I mean a lot more. There's only one gripe I have, and it's not really the figure. It's a lack of an accessory. And that is the smashed head. Um... It's really not McFarlane Toys' fault. It's AMC's fault. Um, what happened was there was a lot of backlash whenever this aired, you know, with Negan murdering um, Abraham and Glenn. And uh, a lot of people got upset about it, which is stupid. And AMC don't want any more backlash right now, so they're not including it. I'm hoping maybe next year they'll do a clean version of this Glenn, single-carded, and we'll get a smashed head. They are doing a uh, clean, single-carded version of Negan over here coming out. Um, I think pretty soon actually, um, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get it someday. I hope we do. I'm waiting out. If we don't, I may just snap and customize one or get a customizer to do it for me. Um, but enough about it. Let's go ahead and get into them. So let me go ahead and take off all of his accessories, and we'll take a look at him. Uh, first off, one thing I don't like is that this little um, strap right here does not want to stay closed on most of the holsters that these McFarlane 5 inch figures have. This one's very, very, very soft and just does not want to stay in. Matter of fact, it was kind of stuck up here, and if you look real closer here on mine, the um, rubber kind of got stuck and peeled off some, unfortunately. But there is that. Which is a shame, but it is what it is, so. But, um, besides that little nick, everything looks great. Um, the, uh, detail on these pants look great. There's brown, but if you actually look really, really close, it looks like there's, like, um, maybe, like, sand or something. It's kind of hard to tell if it'll focus, like, right here. I don't know, it's like a lighter color. There's blood all throughout the leg, which looks nice. Um, the hands, I mean, they're, they're hands, <laughs> pretty much the same hand on each side, actually. Usually one's a little bit different, but these are pretty much the same hands. The wrinkles, of course, look great. Uh, the shirt is actually textured. Um, if we'll see if we can get that in here. You can kind of see it, but yeah, it is textured, which is fucking awesome. Um... The shirt, just a plain white shirt, nothing too crazy about it. There's the back, very clean actually. Really no blood right there, which kind of looks a little bit weird, but eh, whatever. Really no blood on the pants either, but they do look worn, which is pretty cool. I do enjoy that. The hair, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stand this guy up, and we'll take a look at his face a little bit better. The likeness is astounding. Um, there is the head. 
And that looks just like the actor Stephen Yun that portrayed Glenn. The eyes, mustache, little goatee. The blood looks pretty good too. The hair looks amazing. They did a fantastic job. The eyes. I like the blood. A lot of times blood on faces look a little bit weird, but I think they did it just right with him. Looks normal, and I really, really like that. Um, now we're going to go ahead and set him back. We'll take a look at his accessories. Starting out here with the assault rifle. Nothing too special, but it does have some very, very nice dry brushing of silver on there. Kind of uh, fragile, like right here. I'd be very, very careful with that. Maybe like right here also. So to be careful, the, the butt end feels very, very fragile right here. So to be careful with this gun. Uh, the strap is very, very long. Um, I like, you know, the comic series 3, Rick, where it's kind of hard to um, put over a shoulder. This one, it's no problem. Honestly, it even falls off some. So, um, yeah. I mean, you can put it on his arm if you want, but it looks kind of loose. So, I think it's meant to be over his shoulder, I suppose. Um, and, of course, if you want to, you can put it in his hand. And, uh... It's a little bit of a tight fit, but you can make it work, and he can get in there. I'm sure if you really did want to, you could probably get him in the pose where he's also holding this. I mean, but I'm not really going to fool with it, um, but I'm sure you could. Just use your imagination, kiddos. Um, so, the other accessory he has, which is nothing too special, is the um, handgun right here. Just your standard, typical handgun. I heard a lot of people complain, saying, oh, you know, this should be a silver, it's Merle's. I don't really remember him having Merle's gun. I guess he did. But it's been so long since Merle was in the TV show, I don't really remember. Uh, but I'll just take their word for it. But me, I don't really care. It's, it's, it's a pistol. So, a gun's a gun to me. Um, but if you put this in his hand, uh, just like the assault rifle, he holds it just fine. Well, as I say that, he drops it. But, uh, yeah kind of at an angle because of the wrist articulation a little more of that here a little bit but I just want to show he can hold it and of course like I said you can put it here in a solster but even with that of course it's not going to really close which is a really big pain in the ass but yeah, that is what it is but it does hold in there so I guess it does its job um the accessory he has here which is very very tiny is um his knife so, as you, as you can see, the handle looks nice with gold and black on it, and the blade. It's pretty good. No blood on it, but whatever. I still think it's cool. And, I mean, obviously, of course, if you want him to hold that in either hand, well, I guess we'll put it in here since this one's a little bit more tight, I guess. Um, he can hold it just fine and holds it very, very snug, too. Um, so, we'll go ahead and put this here in his, this holster. Um, which can be kind of hard to do with my gigantic hands. But it fits in there very, very nice. I have to be careful because it, you know, it kind of feels loose, but also kind of don't. So just, uh, again, be careful with it. Uh, keep an eye on it. Make sure you don't lose it. But it does fit in there. It's pretty snug from what it seems. So that's nice. And the last accessory, which is probably my favorite, is the watch that uh, Herschel gave him in Season 3, I think it was. As you can see, it has, like, little numbers on there and... Uh, you can actually make other numbers, which is very, very impressive. I don't know how, they, how the hell they did it, but you can. I uh, probably can't on the camera, but in person you certainly can. The back is just a normal silver. And uh, the chain is actually a real chain, so props to them uh, from at McFarland Toys. That is amazing. It can be a little bit of an ass to put it into his hand. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, you just kind of got to do it like that, and uh, where you can kind of dangle it, you know. Um, they can hold like that, but you know, don't put it straight down because of course it'll fall out. But um, yeah, just uh, keep up with this. Uh, there's really no place to put this at, you know. But just be careful. Um, of course, as far as articulation goes on him, um, he can actually look up very, very far. He can look down. Um, not that great. Uh, he can go 360, of course. Um, this arm will go out this far. This arm will go out this far. Um, elbow articulation can do almost a 90 barely barely off 90 degree um, the hands again are your typical McFarlane toys action figure hands they have that little bitty um, like turning point right inside 
a hand which he probably can't see. Where's that? Eh, you might be able to see that little thing right there. But yeah, typical articulation. Again, that's why this one was a little bit wonky. I just don't really feel like I'm messing with it right now. But you can get it just right. Um, like, see, that looks pretty normal. Um, the legs, I have, a, I have a, kind of a concern here on mine. Mine seems like it's separating a little bit. I'm not sure if the peg is bent in there that's holding it together, or maybe they're all like this, but, I don't know, it kind of worries me. Uh, but it, it can go up this far, back this far, out this far. This leg, I don't want to do it too much. I don't want to break this right here or risk breaking it. But as you can see, it can go back because uh, this is actually attached to his leg. It's actually attached on that joint. So, yeah, you can't really bend that out. I just now noticed that. Um, of course, the legs can bend very, very good, and the feet have that beautiful, beautiful articulation. Where, yes, you can, in fact, get him on his knees, and he can fall face forward. Um, but yeah, look at that. That is fucking awesome! That is badass! That is just so, so damn cool. And, of course, if you get the base over here, you can, in fact, put him on the base. And you can get this beautiful image right here. Look at that. That is just awesome. Shame we don't have a smashed head. That would have made it a uh, hundred times more better, but it is what it is. Um, speaking of a smashed head, if you really want to, you can pop this off. Now, unfortunately, the peg always stays inside the head. I try to heat it up, pull the peg out, put it in here, let it cool, put the head back on, and hoping the peg would stay in here, but it didn't. It still wants to stay with the head, but oh well. If you find a way to do it, kudos to you. The reason why I say that is because if you take the um, smashed head from the comic series 5, Glenn, this guy right here, um, which is this head, uh, it can peg in there very, very well. And it does fit the peg amazing. But even without the peg, you can kind of just sit it right on top of here. And uh, it looks pretty natural. Well, let me get him to kind of stand up some. But if you look right here... It looks pretty damn good. Um, maybe if you could paint it a little bit better. Bloody it up a little bit to make it look a little bit different. It could look more like how it did in the TV show. And again, even with that there being a um, you know peg hole right there, it stays on pretty well. Um, if you want to get the um, exclusive smash head from the comic Egan Glenn 2 pack, you can put that one on there too. But it don't really make much sense because, you know, this is after he's completely destroyed in the comic. <laughs> Um, whereas on TV show, it was just a big pile of blood and mush. So, uh, yeah. It makes more sense if you have this head, because this is what we saw him like with the whole Maggie all find you scene. So, I like that. I just wanted to show that off. Um, so that's cool. Um, and also, fuck it, while we're here, we might as well go ahead and do this. Um, stand Glenn back up. And, uh, bring in his comic counterpart. There they are together. Um, this one's a little bit taller, as you can see. But, uh, yeah. So there's that together. Pretty cool. But um, we're going to go ahead and set Mr. Glenn aside. And we are going to get to uh, Mr. Negan. The one and only Negan. So let me go ahead and put everything up over here. And um, take Negan off the base. And here he is. And uh, to be perfectly honest with you guys, this is literally the 7 inch Negan um, scaled down. I lost the word for a second. Here is 7 inch Negan. And if you look right here, the blood is identical. On the face, is identical. Lucille, the same. Uh, even the hand. It's not the same shape, but same blood and color. So it's basically the exact same figure, scaled down. And that's actually really impressive to me, because look at the head sculpt on this guy and this guy. They did an amazing job for such a small-scale figure. Wow! Hats off to I me mean, from the toys for that. That's amazing. Um, I've already done a review on this figure, if you want to see that. But uh, yeah, look at that comparison. That's badass. And uh, while we're doing comparisons, we'll go ahead and do it next to the comic. Bloody Negan. 
which I think they look very, very cool together. It's, it's cool to see both interpretations of Negan together on the same scale. Yeah, I like that shit. And you can definitely tell where they got the costume from. They did it almost perfect. Pretty much, you know, spot on in the show. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, so i got to say, this guy came with uh, some pretty cool accessories, too. He also came with a uh, machine gun, which um, I want to say is Eugene's. <coughs> Ooh, bless me, guys. Sorry. I just need coming. But, uh, yeah, I think it's maybe the exact same uh, gun that the Eugene toy came with. I know on the show it was Eugene's rifle, so it makes sense. Um, which, you know, getting the same thing with Glenn's gun, the strap. It's a little bit too big to go, like right here on his arm. It was kind of floppy. It's kind of meant to go over his shoulder, I suppose. Um, which looks pretty good. I like it. Not too bad. Um, now, Negan, he comes with um, two more accessories. And where did I set them down? Oh, here they are. There they are. I lost them for a second. He comes with a little handgun. With some decent dry brushing on it too. Again, nothing too special. Kind of wish it had like a brown handle with the loose seal thing carved in there, how it did in the show. But I don't know. Again, I don't really care. It's, it's a gun. And here's a close-up look at that machine gun. If you want to take a look at that. So there you go. And what I was really surprised about that this actually comes with is another hand. This is a closed hand that the pretty much is like the seven-inch Negan. How he had two hands. This is like a straight fisted hand. And this hand is a uh, kind of like a pointing hand. To demonstrate that, I'll show you guys to where, like, if you have him pointing his bat like this, for example, have him point it. Um, and also, while we're at it, we'll go ahead and take Lucille out of here. And uh, I gotta say, Lucille is actually very, very stiff. Unlike the 7 inch one, where it's very, very floppy, this. It's very, very stiff. It has a little bit of a give to it, but be careful. Uh, you don't want this thing to snap in half on you. Um, but it actually has very, very good detail also. Very good detail. Uh, with the barbed wire. Kind of has a little bit of a silver mess up right there, just like the 7-inch one, but oh well. Still think it looks very, very cool. So there's a nice look at Lucille. Um, but anyways, again, with this hand... Um, you can also get the um, gun in this one. It's going to be, actually, I've never really done it, but um, let's see if we can do it. It's kind of a bitch to do. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can get that in there. See? It's a lot easier if you take the hand off. Plus, you have the um, risk of breaking the peg right here if you don't take it off. So, I'll be best just do it like that. And, uh, yeah, you can hold it. Um, so that's cool. He don't have a holster, which kind of sucks, but oh well, is what it is. And of course, the uh, machine gun, he can hold that as well, so that's pretty cool. Let's go and put that right back on here. Well, oh well, it's been a little bit of a bitch of me. Anyways, you get the gist of it, so there's that. Um, but pretty, pretty cool. I'm going to set the handgun over there too before I lose it. Um, again, there's a nice little look at that hand, so that's cool. And this hand, again, the closed one, um, with a more like, you know, straight one like that. Um, just want to kind of put Lucille in there at the corner. Um, let's see. There we go. Slide it in there, and boom. And uh, I thought maybe this would be a ball joint with a 7 inch, but it's not. It's actually like a little peg, so you can keep the same articulation that the standard five inch figures have and uh it actually pegs in there very very nicely too kind of gotta put it in there until you hear a little click which now that i say it's not too hard it's going to be a pain in the ass there we go you can feel it kind of settle in there just be careful and don't break it but um yeah so there's negan with lucille and it looks amazing i love that man i absolutely love this now the articulation on him was very, very cool. His head will move side to side. Uh, can't really go up, can't really go down. I haven't taken the head off, but if you take the head off and remove this, there's no shirt underneath. Like the 7-inch figure, it's like a big square hole where this actually pegs into the scarf. 
So if you put some mold, like some molding putty in there to paint it, I'm sure you could do it, but I don't really care. I, I like this scarf. Anyways, back to articulation. Arm can go, can go up this far. Arm can go up this far on this one, so they go up the same. Seven inch one, this arm could go back more, and it, it kind of stopped right here because there was like a molding thing, and it kind of looked weird. It was at like an angle. This one can go down straight, so I'm very very happy. Um, unfortunately, you can't really get this over the shoulder on his. I cry here as a seven inch one can, but it is what it is. I don't really care about that. Um, the arms can of course go 360, 90 degrees on both sides. The hands have your average McFarlane toys articulation hands. Um, legs can go up this far, back this far. Um, they can go out, um, back this far, back this far, and. They can rotate here at the feet and no pivot. Um, so you can't have Negan on his knees. I know, I know. Now, uh, one cool thing is they, you know, he has the two holes right here on his feet to peg right inside his base. Um, it's more meant for him. Not really meant for Glenn because uh, Glenn does have it. But I've already tried it. And uh, it's just not really big enough, it seems. You can even kind of tell right here. And it's just, I don't know, you can kind of get it in there, but I don't want to force it. It's just it's about as far as you're going to get, so. Um, but oh well, again, it, it makes a lot more sense, and it's kind of meant for Negan to stand right here on the base. So you can then have Mr. Glenn get on his knees. Not in a sexual way. And uh, <laughs> have this going on, which looks just phenomenal. Absolutely love that. And um, taking closer look here at Negan, the silver is actually painted on very, very well on the buttons. It's a little bit smeared right there, if you see on this one. I'm not sure if it's like that on everybody else's. We're gonna have to wait and see till we get more people getting this, you know. But so far, not many people have it. Um, yeah, it looks fine to me. The paint apps look great. Which is kind of sad, considering that this is a lot better than the 7 inch one usually was. That was kind of hit or miss. But the barbed wire has texture to it, as you can see. It looks kind of cut up over here. The silver looks badass. The back. Not really bloody. But oh well. And the head sculpt. Man, look at that head sculpt. The freaking eyes, the pupils, the smile, the hair. Focus a little bit better. There we go. The blood on his face. Look at that, man. And the hair again. Looks so damn good. They did just such a good, good job on that sculpt. I am so surprised by that. It just looks phenomenal. And um, setting him aside, also the base. The base even looks really, really good. I was actually really surprised by that. The gray looks really good. They have uh, like a little stick right here gravels throughout it there's no little stick it looks like an actual ground you know and the black and the gray it's just man they fucking nailed it the back is just bland um actually it's pretty hard i mean i really wouldn't want to bend it and break it in half as you probably would but um i like how i kind of wish that maybe we could have some other sets to where we get some more bases they connect imagine having the full lineup with a connecting base Ooh, that would blow people away. But anyways, I do like though how it's textured, not just a complete like rectangle. That looked kind of weird, but um, yeah. So I absolutely love it. Um, I gotta say though, this set has blown me away. Um, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be uh, by a long shot. This Negan figure. It, it's more than what I expected it was going to be. Yes, it pretty much is a 7-inch figure scaled down. But to me, I think that's a good thing. I don't think that's a bad thing at all. The Glen, again, I actually like it a lot more than I thought. Um, and again, the articulation here with the feet. It's superb. Um, he kneels pretty good. You kind of got to mess around with him some. But he does kneel perfectly fine. Um, and of course, the accessories are great. Um, with both the machine guns and the pistols and again a little extra hand who would have thought they would have even gone the extra mile and gave him another hand 
like the um, seven inch Negan, and um, but they did, and it's just I am just so 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 impressed by the set, and the price point was great. It's like thirty dollars um, at retail, thirty two dollars something like that. Uh, so yeah, man, I love it. I think the set is absolutely one hundred percent amazing. Um, so yeah. That's going to be it for this review, though, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, if you get this set, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. But I'm done talking. I will talk to you all later.